I don't even know, like, there you go. And hubby over here, still hobbling. <laughs> He's looking at my plants. He loves looking at my plants walking around the garden. <laughs> Hang on. And he's looking for his flapjack. <laughs> That's, the only one <laughs> That's the only one he knows. So he's looking for a flapjack. So this is what I have to contend with. I mean, put up with. Oh, look, it's blowing again. Blow a dog off a chain. Yeah, blow a dog off a chain. <laughs> there you go. I learned something new today. In a few minutes time, ACT or Australian Capital Territory here in Canberra, Australia is going to go on lockdown. It's been 105 days since the last case of COVID here in Canberra and that's from a diplomat who actually was, well one case 105 days ago where uh, he's basically in quarantine, so it wasn't infectious in the community. But it's been a year since we have a COVID case that's sort of uh, infectious in the community. So over a year of COVID-free, technically. But now, at 5 o'clock this afternoon, the 12th of August, Canberra or ACT, Australian Capital Territory, will go on lockdown for the next seven days. I pray that this lockdown will only last for seven days and I hope people will do the right thing and stay at home. Please stay at home. And what do you do when you stay at home? Well, for me, I'm gonna go clean up my succulents. So these ones now are, there are a lot of dry leaves from winter. I should really, okay. Why am I doing that one by one? I only need the tweezer. If I need to pull out the leaves that are still attached to the plant. Otherwise, I can just basically just remove them by hand like so. And we are going to go, I mean, okay, dry leaves, we're going to, because it's just unsightly. Anything that's sort of like that as well. The tip is already dry. That one is not going to grow into pups or babies, so we throw it away. Now here, the longissima are, uh, so there's a, like a big plant, there's a small plant, and there's another baby plant in the bottom. In between, there's lots of dry leaves. I will need a tweezer. Oh, sorry, there's a spider, I think, moving. I need a tweezer to, move, to remove this because if I don't use my... Why my tweezer? Forceps. I'm using the forceps. Sorry, guys. <laughs> my brain is on lockdown. I'm supposed to go plant shopping tomorrow, but now I can't. Anyway, uh, hopefully seven days next week, I should be able to... I'm going to keep everything cross so that next week I can go out and buy some more plants. Because by then I'm already going to be having some withdrawal symptoms and I would feel like... Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> pick up smoking again. No, I'm not. I'm never gonna smoke again, but I still need something. I still need a vice to keep my life interesting. Well, it's gonna be boring if I don't go shopping for clothes anymore. No more shoes, no more bags. And if I stop buying plants or succulents as well, it's like life is not worth living for. It is. I got my husband, I got my children, I got my friends, uh, to my family to live for, but anyway, but you know what I mean, you can't be just all goody-goody two-shoe, you gotta have some vice to keep things interesting, oh it's a cockroach, okay, I'm sorry cockroach, anyway, so that's basically, so now I'm exposing the stem, and so this is with some branching plants like the longissima. This is a round form, by the way. See, that one there, I could just go like this and like that. <laughs> and what are you? Mertella, blue tongue. I think Raptoveria or Pachyveria blue tongue. Anyway, blue tongue. So why are you blue tongue? 
Are you blue? No, you look, yeah, sort of bluish. Anyway, that one there. That one there, by the way, this grows really quick, this blue tongue. So if you harvest that like that, these leaves here will still produce lots of babies. So I'm just going to throw it at the back. They actually uh, propagate really well. So there's some plants that will propagate well. And there's others that's not going to do very well. So I'm just doing this one hand. Okay. So now... I'm gonna go wander around. See this one here, this is a uh, bee's knee. So just, okay, sorry, forceps. Uh, actually that one, I'm just gonna leave it because it's in a little pot like that. That's just gonna fall off. That one is a tito buns. Look how cute and gorgeous the tito buns. So a lot of these plants, look, I'm bonsifying them. I'm gonna bonsify you. Uh, this one is, Opalina, look how big this opalina is. That's too big for my liking, but anyway, that's a mummy plant, so I don't mind. My opalina, I prefer to have them growing small. Like this one here. These are in, hang on, let's go take you off. So this opalina, opalina, look. The same age. So that, those are the same age. So this one and that one. There you go. See the difference? And look, look how big that one is. These are already babies. Uh, grown from a leaf. They're in Bergii. Grown from a leaf. Seventh of the nine. Uh, that's <laughs> seven of um, July. Is that seven, eight, nine? August. There you go. So this is two years old. My Pachypitum compactum. This one is sort of in the shade or in the shadow and that one is in the sun. So that's what the color uh, looks like in the sun. Even this one, this is Pachypitum compactum. I can't see my screen. So anyway, I should probably take one of these down. Let's go take you down. I'll take you down. Okay. So look at the color. Aren't you gorgeous? You're beautiful. I love red plants. So anyway, oh, speaking of red plants, I just saw my Bella. Uh, thank you, Lynn, for giving me a cutting of, uh, not Bella, mini bell. Look how beautiful this is. Hang on. And there's babies growing in the bottom. Look how nice and red that is. Red mini bell. And, oh, this one. Are you Branti Eye? Oh my goodness, Branti Eye. Branti Eye is one underrated plant. Once it grows, the color changes to this. So let's go get my mother or take a look at the mother Branti Eye. This is Mommy Branti Eye exposed to the element. Look at that. It's a gorgeous plant and very, very, very hardy. So this is, this falls under the category of Armageddon plants for me because they can survive full sun, frost, rain, hail or shine. The hail actually hit them. There's one year where this is one of my oldest plants. So this Branti I already, this is about four years old. So I've been growing succulents for five years and it's not until a year later till I found a Branti eye. So most of the plants I have, I don't find them in one go or say five years ago i hang on oh that one that one is just so gorgeous that is uh what is your name I, you still got a silver star or something like that that's a new hybrid of something i think raptoveria silver star or sedum silver star but anyway it's beautiful it's beautiful plant i think it looks like a debbie but it's got all that chiseling or facets like the champagne and so it's like you merge why am i talking it's like it's like i've been watching too much um tiktok videos <laughs> and anyway yeah so the branty eye yeah forgot now because now i'm looking at all of these plants now and then that one might be ferrum ah oh, gorgeous round round chubby fatness so this area i lost my pattern of thought again so I'm just going to chit-chat and wherever, and I kid you not, 
if I were to say, as I'm talking, I'm talking about the overhear room, but my eyes is actually going, going to the, say, what do you call you? It's a very, um, ah, bloody Maria. Oh my God. <laughs> and then this catches my attention as well. I'm just jerking my camera just to uh, simulate my eyes where it, so from there, I would just go jump to there. And then I would just jump to here and then I would go jump here and then now I'm going everywhere and okay you get the idea okay so I was my, my camera's focused here right now but my eyes actually went to here again because like ah, oh, look at the apis and look at the Mendoza and look at the string of pearls over here and look at the Graptivaria tricolor gorgeous beautiful look at the Oh, they're so gorgeous. They're so underrated. I already said this a couple of days ago in one of my videos. Such underrated plants. And then I look at my comic storm here, which is sort of a small compact form. And I'm going to show you a um, bigger form of comic storm. And I remember because I just saw a small form of the Ruma Shorea of Gaptu Petalum Ellen in the bottom here. The small or been bonsified. And then you go up the top here. There bigger exposed to the sun very very uh pale looking so it's like cream you could almost eat it and very chubby look look how chubby is that and my sedum clavatum here is sort of dead but new ones hiding their baby growing and my sedum spatulifolium which is actually probably uh, sedum clavatum as well but anyway so this one now it's dead but there's new growth there so there's lots to do and um hang on i've got this one to transplant and i still haven't transplanted it because yesterday and today was the first couple of days that we had the sun out and let's go hang on my rocks are still there need to wash i've got my <laughs> I know I'm jumping all over the place. Yes, and my my little container here. I'm supposed to empty that out anyway. Okay, I put you here. You can just stay there. And let's go meandering. Oh, look! This is what caught my attention again. Bronze Beauty is coloring up. So this is the one that's sort of grown in the shade. But there's lots of babies. So I need to. Oh my goodness! Can you see the claws? Oh wow! That is very bronzy so it's actually going bronze so that's probably why they call it bronze beauty because if it's grown in the shade they will go bronzy when they mature but what they didn't know is that okay i'm getting too excited again when they are grown out in the sun and the frost is that they would look like this had they seen this grown like this, they probably wouldn't have called it Bronze Beauty. They would probably call this um, Tequila Sunrise or Rum Sunrise. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, or Humdrum. <laughs> anyway, so I am going silly again, but uh, life is short and you might as well spend every single moment of it having fun as much as you can and you have to well i will i do anyway i'm not saying i'm telling you to do things but anyway i like to spend my time as if this is the first day for the rest of my life that cliche saying but this could also be my last day so that's how i live my life as if this very moment Whatever I'm doing, I like to enjoy what I do, even though I'm just pulling weeds. I like to enjoy it. I savor every moment that weed pulling. It's so satisfying. This is my ugly moon glow. That's sort of more becoming pretty over here. That one there, look, beautiful moon glow plant. The one on the right is my standard beautifully grown. <laughs> Ben buddies so it tends to cluster up like that so is that isn't that beautiful now this one is a Ben buddies but a monstrous variegated form so anyway look at the difference so this one is grown out in the open this other one or this one so full sun full frost full rain 
this one is only 50% rain because it's my shade cloth area. I'm just trying to be funny. So 50% um, UV shade cloth area. So this is where I grow this one. So it's only getting 50% of the sunlight and also getting 50% of the element. So anyway, I'm just being silly because I'm thinking my coffee is now cold. So, but anyway, so look how gorgeous the colors. But anyway, I still like, I also like this green band bodies because, so okay. Oh, that's where, this is why we came here, just to compare leaves. And then I forgot. So the one, okay, just same level. Let's go there. There you go. So now on the right is, okay, if you go normal height. Okay, there you go. So on the right is the standard Ben Badis and on the left is the Monstro's fat leaves. So they're fat. So look at that. Look at that. Look how thick that one that in the center there. That's really thick. And then let's go on this one. See, look, thin, thick. Oh, there you go. Okay. I'm going to go and have my coffee now. So anyway, guys, take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy, stay indoors, don't go, the wind's picking up again, don't go out unless you really have to. So anyway, please, let's help each other, be kind to one another, and please stay home, stay home. Okay, okay, so now let's go put this away.